I reckon you should show it. Right? You think I should just show it? Yeah, I think I you mean, should. I reckon well, you yeah, too. I mean, no disagreement here. I think that, I mean, I don't have like, I can't show the movie right now, you know, because it's still a little bit to do. But I mean, there is, there is this. I have, I have this. I don't know if this is helpful. See that? Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> oh my god. 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 Right. If you don't know what I'm on about yet, I'm going to just quickly give you a rundown. So, once upon a time, uh, Zack Snyder was directing Justice League. He, he's done films like 300 and Watchmen. Uh, yeah, so he was directing Justice League. Then he had to leave for uh, important family reasons, which I'm not going to go into detail in this video. And yeah, along come the studio executives, and oh boy, they've got plans. They've got great plans for this film. They decide to absolutely fuck this film to oblivion. I am not joking here, they fucked it. From what we've seen already of this new film, and I'm gonna call it a new film because it, it practically, it already looks like a completely different film. This new version looks much better in different ways. Like, for, for, for a starter, the film is four hours long. Yeah, I don't know how you're gonna sit through it, but I'm capable of it, I've done it before. You got six characters, so you got a bunch of backstories, but well, then you got the, the villain's backstory as well. Yeah, and comparing that to the bloody version that came out in 2017, that version was, it was rushed, the story was rushed, the CGI was a bit rubbish because that was rushed because they had limited time after they, the, the, the bloody executives took over. Oh, fucking hell, man. Why? Oh, no. You put me off my concentration. Jesus. Yeah, where was I? Yeah, apparently the directors of the other DC films consider that film, like, they consider it so bad that they don't even consider it canon. Like, they literally chucked it out. Like, they don't... The, the films they've made after that, they, they say it's not canon with that. They, they say it's canon with this new version that's coming out. And the way they did that was they discussed with Zack Snyder. Now, you're probably just thinking, oh, it's just another film. Why is he going on about this? This is... Something like this has never happened before, ever. Like, there's never been this much demand for... I don't know whether to call it a director's court or not, because it's, like, a completely different film. I mean, I'm saying that, but I haven't even seen it yet. But it's not just that that's coming out on that day either, on the 18th. Uh, there's also um, a remaster of Batman vs Superman. So what they've done for that is they've enhanced the colour of that film and they've also restored the IMAX aspect ratio of it. Now, you're probably thinking a bit like Christopher Nolan films where, you know, it's got black bars on top and bottom and then it suddenly switches to uh, full screen. But that's not, that's not the full aspect ratio. It's square, so you've got black bars on the sides. And some people don't agree with that, but I, full, I kind of fully understand why he's gone that way. It's because you're seeing everything. Oh great, the, the light's going away. Now, I mean, what's different in terms of the CGI? Uh, they've, completely, they've completely changed the look of the villain. Uh, you're not getting any more clapped Superman lit. Yeah, the, C the CGI looks much better on Cyborg. Uh, you get, you're getting a lot of completely new scenes in this film. Like, I'm pretty, they said like, you've got two and a half hours of unseen footage like no one's seen before that you're going to get in this film. You're going to get scenes that were cut out for being deemed too violent. Like there's one scene which they showed in a recent teaser. You've also got new characters in the film that were also, that were also cut out. They cut out Darkseid for some reason, even though he's like a major character in this story. They took the what's called the history lesson scene. I'm pretty sure that's what they call it. Yeah, they took Darkseid and they completely replaced him with the other villain who's in this film. Uh, th they literally, like, cut out so much from that as well. Apparently that sequence is going to be, like, 20 minutes. So, yeah, what the point of all that was, was they wanted to make it look like a Marvel film. They wanted to... They wanted it to be like Marvel, which is a bit disappointing, because I feel like DC should have its own look. Like, they really decided to change the look of the villain from this to this. Apparently they deemed it too scary. But it, it doesn't look that scary. 
It should be good. I mean, this film's been rated R for the violence and some language. I, I'm glad. If we're gonna get violence in a superhero film, I'm glad because we don't get that often and it gives us some proper action. I mean, I remember going to see the 2017 version. And I came out of cinemas. I tried to like it. I tried, I tried to see the good parts of it. it. It wasn't easy. It's not easy to come out of a film and completely agree on disliking it because it kind of feels like you've wasted your money watching a film. I know Marvel fans are gonna come out and say stuff like, you know, Marvel's better than DC. It's probably because it's like, DC hasn't got that many, they haven't got that much films. They're not like Marvel. They've got their own style. They should stick to it. Honestly, if you don't watch DC films that much, I'd honestly give it a chance, frankly. Right, well, that was what I had to say on that matter. I mean, honestly, if you are interested, you should watch it. I mean, there's not really much stopping you. Well, that's that in a bit, lads. Turned worlds to dust. All of existence shall be mine. I have a second chance. I am not gonna waste it. He said the age of heroes would never come again. Fighting the devil and his army. I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us united. It's time to stand, fight. The time is now. <laughs>